Hey everybody, it's Miss Espinoza, and I am coming to you with a video on area. Area is the space on the inside. How much of the is it? How much is the measure of the area on the inside? How many are the squares on the inside? Okay. Now, you could do this one or two ways. You could either sit here and count all the squares, which that would take you a while, especially if you had, you know, a bigger square. Um, but an easier way to do that would be to multiply. The formula for finding the area is the area times the base times the height. So base times height. So the base here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 times, so we'll say 6 inches because everything needs to have a unit. And then the height, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, okay? So now we know the base is 6 and the height is 7. So all we have to do is multiply. 6 times 7 is 42. So the area is 42. Now, to double check if you want, you can just count all the squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay? Um, but you really don't, shouldn't have to count them. If you do this simple, just multiplying the base times the height. Okay? So now let's try some others. So let's say we have a rectangle. whose base is 12 centimeters and whose height is 4 centimeters. Well, we know, because we want to know the space in here, how much is all this space, okay? We know that the formula is A equals base times height. So the base is 12, the height is 4. So we know that the area is 12 times 4 is 48 centimeters. Now, because we're talking about squares, and I forgot to show you that here, you have to make sure and put a 2 on top because that that's means squared. Okay? So you always got to make sure that you have that 2 on top because it means squared. Okay, let's try another. Let's say we have a rectangle. That is... Three inches by twenty inches. Okay, so if this was in a graph like that, all the little boxes would be on the inside, and we would need to know how many little boxes there are. Okay, 
So we know that the formula is A equals base times height. The base is 20 and the height is 3. So we do a little bit of multiplication. 20 times 3, 0 times 3, uh, so that would be 60. The area is 60 inches squared. Okay. So now I'm going to do one, and then I want you to practice. Here is a rectangle. The base is 15 yards, and the height is 3 yards. So I want you to go ahead and pause the video, work it out, and then unpause the video and come back and see if you got the answer correct. Okay, thank you for coming back. So, in finding the area, we know that the formula is base times height. Okay, so it's going to be the base, which is 15, times the height, which is 3. So then you're going to multiply 15 times 3. Well, we know 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 1 is 3 plus the 1 on top is 4. So your answer is 45. The area is 45 yards squared. Okay, so all you're doing is multiplying the base times the height. Let's try one more. What about a perfect square? If we know that one side is um, 3, miles, what is the area? Now think about what you already know about a square. We know that a square has equal sides. So if the height is 3, the base must also be 3. And this is our formula. So then we can do that, right? So the area would be 3 times 3. So the area would equal 9 miles squared. Okay, I hope you understood that. Um, please don't forget to put the unit and then squared, that little two at the end. Okay, bye, thank you for watching.